Today we're going to be talking about the cause of your mommy tummy. I go on my, all my platforms by the name of Mommy Mango. Uh, my name is Rajane Mora and I have been working with tightening mommy tummies, helping moms tighten their mommy tummies, improve bladder problems and back pain for several years now. I started by working on myself because I had so many issues. I'm a mom of four kids and I have helped thousands of moms with this issue of tightening the tummy safely, properly, effectively, successfully. And today I thought it would be really neat to talk about what causes the mommy tummy and what we can do about it. And I wanted to actually do a demonstration because I really think this is going to um, make a big difference for you to just understand this conceptually and visualize it. I am such a visual teacher, obviously. Um, you see, I wear all these silly suits on my, U on my YouTube channel or wherever you're watching this, TikTok. Um, I'm always wearing suits because I want you to really connect it in your brain. Like, I don't want you to just take my word for it. I want you to understand for yourself what's going on in your body so you can make informed decisions, okay? All right, so let's start off with what happens during pregnancy, okay? During pregnancy, you get so stretched out. And especially if you have had multiple babies like I have. After my first pregnancy, Everything pretty much went back the way it was before, but I promise you, after my second, third, fourth pregnancy, things did not quite bounce back, and this is why. So I have some balloons here. We're gonna do a little demonstration today because I want you to understand this. Um, I have blown this balloon up one time, and you see how it's bigger than the other one. This is an original balloon. I'm gonna keep this here for reference. Now, I want this. I want to show you this because this represents our core and what I'm speaking of specifically is the muscles and connective tissues of the core. When we're thinking about how to repair the mommy tummy and how to tighten it, strengthen it, we have to understand what exactly is stretched out so that you are doing the right exercises. Because I know a lot of us think sit-ups, V-sits, planks, and all these things are the right thing to do when it comes to tightening our mommy tummy, but we really need to understand that those might not be working for you and that's why you might not have seen success because you aren't understanding the actual problem. So today we're going to go into the problem and we're going to show you um, the solution and why doing different exercises works, okay? Um, when we are pregnant, we our stomach gets really stretched out. But what exactly is stretched out, okay? Here's what's stretched out. What is stretched out is are the muscles and the connective tissues. You see these muscles here? You see this white part here? The white part, that's the connective tissue. It connects all the muscles together. So you see here, like your six pack abs, it's not just one sheet of muscle. There are muscles that are connected together by this connective tissue here, okay? So when you're thinking about how do I strengthen and tighten the mommy, mommy tummy, you have to understand that we, our mommy tummy is made up of muscles and connective tissues. And not only that, but you have four layers of abdominal muscles. So you have the, the rectus abdominis, you have your obliques, your internal, your external obliques. You also have underneath your internal obliques, you have the transverse abdominis. The transverse abdominis wraps around, cinches your waistline, and I talk about that a lot, okay? So you have four layers. Um, here, I want to just show you by using this example, this is our balloon that I've blown at one time. This balloon is already bigger than this one here from blowing it at one time. So that represents like getting pregnant one time, okay? But I'm gonna blow it up one more time just to kind of get a good feel. This is for consecutive pregnancies. Now some of us have had some big babies, all right? So this is what happens when we blow up our um, balloon. Now, obviously, it's a lot bigger than what it was originally. We've blown it up so big, right? Again, this represents the muscles and connective tissue that wraps around to make our core, okay? Inside, you have pressure. This It's pressurized there. That's what's keeping it nice and firm, okay? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let that out. And 
So this is you delivering your baby. This is you delivering your second baby. Now, I'm not going to blow it up two more times because I've had four. So imagine every time you blow it up, it, it, it's going to get bigger and bigger. Now, you see how much bigger that is than that? All right, what is stretched out? What's stretched out is your mus muscles are your muscles and your connective tissue, okay? And that's something that we have to address. Now, let me continue on with this analogy and show you how we usually address it. Now, how we usually address the stretched out mommy tummy is we do sit-ups, we do planks, we do v -sits. we focus on the front of our core, our abdominal muscles. Now, here's the thing. A lot of times I feel like we focus on the superficial muscles. Now, what you see here, you see the rectus abdominis, you see the six pack. And a lot of times we focus on the six pack because that's how we get those washboard abs, right? We get that six pack cut look. Now that's great. There's nothing wrong with that per se, but think about it. Your core is stretched all the way around and look at the rectus abdominis. It's just right here in the front, okay? It's just right here in the front and the front, that muscle here is a flexion muscle. All right, now keep that in mind because we're gonna go into all the other muscles and their function as well. Now, let's say you see this balloon is all stretched out all around. Let's pretend like we just focused on the front there, just the front, the rectus abdominis in the front. What's gonna happen? Is that gonna affect the entire thing all the way around that really tightens? No, no, it doesn't. Not only that, but I want you to do a quick test with me. Um, there's a thing called diastasis recti. Now, diastasis recti is ab separation. What is that? Ab separation and diastasis recti is actually just stretched out connective tissue. Now, we just talked about that. The connective tissue connects all the muscles all the way around the core, connects them to each other, right? Now, this connective tissue right here in the midline is especially special in that when you're pregnant, that one really opens up and spreads open, okay? It stretches out. So instead of having this thin line of connective tissue between your rectus abdominis, you may have something wider like this, okay? Wider like this. Now, that connective tissue is now stretched out. It's thinner and weaker, okay? Now, I want you to do this with me. Lean back, look down, and I want you to see if you see any bulging or doming. If you see bulging and doming coming up through the midline, then you have stretched out connective tissue there at the midline. And it, you see how it's bulging there, okay? Now, here's the thing with that tissue. If you focus on just trying to focus on the rectus abdominis in the front, and you do things like, you saw how I lean back, and I saw coning and doming. Now, imagine every time I did a sit-up. Every time I did a sit up, I'm pressing on this midline that's already stretched out. It's already doming. So what happens is we can actually stress it out further. One, we can make it worse by causing it to stretch more by doing really high intensity. If you get excessive doming at the midline, you can cause it to stretch out more. Not only that, but let's say you don't cause it to stretch out more, you could prevent it from actually healing because you're not really tightening up that midline tissue. You're just kind of stretching it every time you're doing a setup or whatever you're doing, okay? So what we want to do is we want to focus on exercises that's actually going to tighten around the waist and bring it in, all right? Not bulge it out at the midline. So that is why we do exercises that focus on not just the rectus abdominis, because that's important too, but we want to focus on the internal abdominal muscles, especially the transverse abdominis, because that one is often quite stretched out because the rectus abdominis wraps around us like a waist trainer and it cinches us in this way. So back to our balloon, right? If we worked on the transverse abdominis, we would tighten it here. Versus if we just worked on the rectus abdominis here, it actually causes that bulging that we saw. It's stretching the connective tissue of the midline out more, okay? Um, and we're going to do a quick exercise in a second so that you can see how that actually happens. But we are wanting to work on the deeper core muscle that wraps around. Now, this is what happens. I know this is getting kind of deep, but I want you to understand this. If you miss this, you can go to my YouTube video and check this out. If it's not making sense I want you, uh, or you missed some things in this live, I want you to go back to the YouTube video. I will post this by next Friday, okay? Um, I'm going to go answer these questions as soon as I'm done. I just want to make sure that this is clear and that I'm kind of just kind of going through this in one nice fluid um, swoop. All right, so we're talking about the transverse abdominis. Now, that's the deepest core muscle. It's under the rectus. It's under the obliques. 
and it wraps around and cinches us in. Now, just like with these other muscles, it's actually connected to connective tissue. The transverse abdominis actually is a muscle that goes about from here to here. And in between, it's attached to that that connective tissue. There's connective tissue in between the rectus abdominis. So, but when you engage the, the transverse abdominis, it does something different than the rectus abdominis. So initially, we lean back, we look down. If you see coning and doming coming up through your midline, that's the connective tissue at the midline, stretching, bulging, pushing out. But here's the thing. When you engage the transverse abdominis, which I'll do with you here in a second, when you engage the transverse abdominis, it actually tightens that midline tissue and flattens it, okay? That's the thing. What happens is that muscle, when you engage it, it sh shrinks your waistline. It pulls that tissue at the midline. Instead of bulging it out and making it cone and dome, it actually tightens it and flattens it. Okay, and that's why the exercises that I show you and exercises specifically for diastasis recti, a stretched out mommy tummy, they actually cinch you in. Okay, now it's not bad to do rectus abdominis work. It's just you want to make sure that your transverse abdominis underneath is strong enough to prevent that bulging and doming when you're doing that exercise. Let's bring it all together now. I know I said a lot of things. But now I want you to do this exercise with me so you can prove it to yourself what I'm saying, all right? Here, and I see questions are popping up. I'm gonna get to those questions as soon as I'm done. I'm almost done with this demonstration um, so that you can really connect this. Okay, now let's go back to that exercise that I just did. This is kind of like mocking a, um, a sit-up. So let's lean back, look down, take note of your coning and doming, okay? You see it there. If you have coning and doming at the midline, or even if you have bulging, let's say you don't have coning and doming at the midline, but your rectus abdominis, you can't keep it flat when you do a sit up. It bulges. The whole thing bulges. Now make note of that, okay? Now let's engage your transverse abdominis, okay? I want you to pretend as though you're putting on a tight pair of jeans. I have some on right now. Let's pretend as though you're putting on a tight pair of jeans. You are buttoning it, and as you exhale, I want you to zip up that zipper and make sure nothing gets caught in it, okay? Let's do that one more time. Inhale, relax. Exhale, I want you to put on those tight pair of jeans, button it, zip it up without letting anything, pretending as though you're not wanting anything to get caught in that zipper. Hold that, now lean back, look down. Do you see less doming, yes or no? If you see less doming, I want you to put me in the comments. Uh, go ahead and start putting your me's if you see less doming when you do it that way. Let, let, I want to just kind of go through that one more time to make sure that you get it. Yes, me. I see already a me. What I want you to do, we're trying to see if we can reduce the doming by bringing our abdominal muscles back into balance because the internal ab muscle, the transverse abdominus, is the one that tightens and flattens, okay? So right now we're engaging that. I see me, 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 me coming up. Awesome. Um, some of you, it might not be strong enough to do what it needs to do. And that's why we're working on those exercises. That's why I have all my exercises posted. That's why I have a link in my bio that has full length free exercises that you can get started with today. All right. Because if you get those muscles into balance with each other, when you do sit-ups, you should see a flat. You should be able to keep your stomach flat when you do a sit-up. If you're seeing coning and doming, please stop. Don't do those sit-ups right now until you strengthen the deep core muscle. If you see this bread loaf appearance where your rectus abdominis is poking out, please stop. Strengthen your deep core muscle so that you can, you, it's in balance with your rectus abdominis and can keep it all flat, okay? Because that's what's going to get the results that you've been looking for. And that's why those sit-ups haven't been working for you, okay? So I'm going to try it one more time for those who might have missed it. First, let's just relax everything, lean back, look down. Do you see coning and doming? You might see it, all right? Or do you see like a bread loaf appearance? You can't keep your abs flat. Now, I want you to put it on the tight pair of jeans, button it as you exhale, zip up that zipper without getting anything caught in the zipper. Now lean back. Is it flatter than it was before? I bet it is. Because you are engaging the transverse abdominis and when you do that, 
that is helping to tighten and flatten that midsection, that midline tissue, okay? That is what we're going for, ladies. That's how it's helped thousands of moms. That's how I know it works because it really helped me. Um, and I want you to not be confused as to why your um, sit-ups weren't working. That's 